back to Homerville, Georgia. It is a full house in here tonight, y'all. Big game coming up. Your Indians come in at 20 and one on the season. The only loss so far has been to Calhoun. They are seven and zero in the region. And that one loss was back in Christmas when they were just getting warmed up. Clinch County comes in at 15 and three. They're five and one in the region. They're two. They're two games behind us in the region play. And you've got Turner at four and three, Lanier at three and four, Edco at one and five, and Eccles at 0 oh and seven. A huge game coming up tonight. This, this game tonight will definitely go a long, long way into the side in the region. If the Indians win tonight, that should wrap up the region title and home court advantage for the region tournament. We have Ad, we have uh, Adco and Eccles coming up. So, you know, nothing against those two schools, but the Indians are pretty dominant over those two schools. So if they can win this one tonight, I think they'll seal up that region championship, regular season region championship, and host the region in Folkestone in a couple of weeks. So that's, that's, what's, on, that's what's at stake tonight. Obviously, you want to be that one seed headed into the region. Definitely want to be that one seed headed into the GHSA playoffs. So all that's on the line tonight. The Panthers, they're fully aware of what's going on too. They're, they're at five and one. They know a win tonight would go a long way to maybe helping them tie the region with two games left, even though I don't see the Indians losing at Adco or at Eccles. Looking around the region tonight, here's where everybody's at. You've got Adco at Eccles. Now, their girls were struggling earlier. I don't know how their boys are doing tonight. I haven't heard. I think Keith Newburn is down there checking all that out. He's down there for the LCN network. He shot me a couple updates during the uh, girls' game, so hopefully he'll do that during the boys' game. You've got Lanier up at Turner. That could be a good game. Lanier, Lanier's playing some pretty decent ball now. They're, they're a little off from seasons past, but Lanier could pull off an upset up there at Turner. If they could get hot, then obviously the only other region game tonight is right here. We've got Swamp War between the Indians and Panthers. All that's coming up. We are about, and I'll give you all a shot at the clock there so you can see it. We are seven minutes away from tip off and player introduction. So we're going to take a quick break and thank our sponsors. And we'll be back right after this. You're watching Indians basketball on CSN. In your time of need, give Rob Robertson a call at 912-496-7388. Shepherd Robertson Funeral Home says, Go Indians! ESP Specialist of Fabrication is located at 169 Little Phoebe Church Road in Folkestone, Georgia. President Mark Pickering and his employees utilize the latest technology with a skilled workforce to supply customers with the best custom fabrication possible. Serving clients at home and abroad makes ESP a premier employer in Charlton County. For all your specialty and fabrication needs, contact ESP at 912-496-2583 today. They're also on Facebook at ESP Specialist Fabrication. ESP is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sportsnet. Charlton Electric, serving Charlton and surrounding counties with over 20 years. Hi, right, welcome back to Homerville, Georgia. We're live from Clinch County High School. Indians and Panthers about to do battle right here. I want to get a couple of programming notes out of the way so you folks at home will know. Tomorrow night is senior night back home. Brantley County is coming to town. Sammy Hendricks is going to cover that for us tomorrow night. I'll be out of town. I'll be in Miami. Sammy's going to have it. It'll be on our Facebook group page. So make sure you're a member of a Charlton Sportsnet's Facebook group page tomorrow night. Sammy's going to have that live to both the game, all the games, all the varsity games I know. I don't know if he's going to make it for JV or not, but I know he's going to be there for varsity and senior night. So y'all make plans to, if you can't be there at the gym, we obviously want you at the gym, but if you can't be there, you can watch online at Charlton Sportsnet on Facebook tomorrow night. 
uh, right here on this YouTube channel. We'll be in South Florida with the Kendham County Titans football team taking on the South Florida Dolphins live from Pompano Beach. That's the FCFL Game of the Week, and it's brought to you by UFP Industries from right there in Folkestone, Georgia. I want to thank UFP for all they do for CSN, not only for the Titans, but also for Charlton County webcast as well. We appreciate that. So that's what's our that's our programming schedule for tomorrow night. We're uh, we're growing, so we're having to split the webcast up a little bit. But we couldn't grow without you guys. We appreciate all the support you guys have given us, and we hope it continues. I'm pretty excited. It's going to be a big weekend on CSN, on our Facebook, and on our YouTube channels. Obviously starting off with a huge, huge weekend here on a Friday night with Swamp War. It doesn't get much bigger than this in high school sports. We're four minutes away from player introductions. And the opening tip off there, you see Coach David Bailey. What a job he, Coach Pender, and Coach Brooks have done with these Charlton County Indians. I mean, just a phenomenal job. With Charlton County basketball. They're at midcourt getting set for uh, the meeting with the officials and captains from Clinch County as well as their head coach, athletic director, and law enforcement. That's something they do now. Here in Georgia high school football, got to include everybody on that pregame. Make sure everybody's straight about safety measures and so forth. So that's, that'll be coming up here in just a moment. Team captains for tonight are, are Elias Williams, Jalen King, Jarvis Wright, and Hamilton's in there. Those are the captains for the tribe. You know, it's a huge night when you have media row up here. I'll give you a shot of that in just a second. There's a radio station here. We've got Creek Box at the other end. I mean, we've, uh, the media in here, we've taken up the entire top of the middle section of the bleachers. And this place is still packed. They concluded the uh, meeting with the officials, law enforcement. You see the Indians in their black warm-ups getting loose. The Panthers in their grays. I'll give you a shot of media row right here. Well, that's the CSN laptop part at work. There we go. There you see Creek Box all the way down there at the end. That's Alan Hanley and Daniel right there. And then uh, Clinch County Radio next to me. And then obviously CSN down here on this end. Full house in here in Homerville. And they're still coming in. I don't know what capacity this place, but we got to be close to it. And Charlton traveled. I've got Charlton fans right here in front of me. All the way down to my right. They go all the way that way. And they're mixed in with some Quince County folks up here in the top. So it's a good crowd in here for both schools. How about our Indian baseball Indians last night? Scrimmage game, but you'd think it was a playoff game. You had the two A state champions in town taking on the single A runner-ups in baseball last night, and your tribe coming out on top. There's a 
child of faith for giving him an ovation. They pumped up. And get a shot of these folks. There we go. Get a camera up a little bit. Indians getting the ovation from the road warriors. All right, let's turn the PA mic up for just a minute while they do player introductions. to Hamilton. Hamilton's going to go to the basket. He has that block. Panthers come back this way. And Jarvis Wright with the block. They're going to say he fouled. Oh, 
post. This is the second. Hamilton will be back. Ten for three. It's in. And we get a tech called on King. All he did was jump up and down and head back down the line. They call a tech on King. Come on. We are where we are, folks. He hits the tank. Second, we're going to say it's Panther Ball. How in, the, how in the world, anyway? We're going to get a foul called on Morton. Bailey wanted to travel, didn't get it. Williams with the rebound. Gets it out to Mark, over to Hamilton. Hamilton's gonna drive to the basket, shoots, misses. King forced him out. Pulls up for three, missed that one. Right with the rebound. gets it back, Panthers get it back. It's out of the Panthers, Indians ball. Martin to Hamilton over here to Ahmad Hamilton. Inside to Williams. Williams gonna kick it out to Martin in the corner to Hamilton. Hamilton shoots for three, it's in. Two, 
trouble call. Out of basket, the mob with the rebound. Panthers with the steal. They lay it back in. Martin has it. Over here to right. Right brings it over to Hamilton. Inside, or try to get it inside the mod. Panthers intercepted. Air ball. Indian town. Have a timeout on the floor. We're going to take a break. 3-12 left here in the first period. Indians up by one when we come back. both commercial and residential services. Our electricians can meet your needs. We offer installation on whole house generators, service upgrades for mobile home services, troubleshooting, ceiling fan and light fixtures, and much more. Call us today for an estimate, 912-496-4528. Northwest Buxton Auto Supply is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sports. For all of your auto and big truck needs, go by and see Sammy and his staff today. They have everything from lawnmower blades to parts for big rigs and heavy equipment. Park West Folkston Auto Supply is located at 4439. Welcome back. King will inbound for the Tribe. Martin's down there with King. 312 left here in the first. Martin on that far side to Hamilton. Back over here to Martin. Back to Hamilton. Martin looking at a three, decided not to do it. Over here to Williams. Hamilton for three, missed. Pulls up for three, missed that one. King had a rebound for a second. Knocked out by the Panthers, Indian ball. King in the corner. Back to Jarvis. Jarvis to Hamilton. And we're gonna Martin. Foul called on 13 for the Panthers. Two nineteen left in the first. Hamilton will inbound. King to Martin. Martin bringing it back across court there. Back in the shot. King at the top. Right pulls up for a quick three. Missed front of the rim. Drive to the basket. Right. Indians ball. One fifty-five left to the first.
crib in the game now for the Tribe to right. A lot of contact, right pulls up, shoots, it's in. Williams with the rebound. Got right down here in the corner. Crib back to King. King pulls up with a three, missed. Rebound Panthers. Three, missed. Williams with the rebound. Crib looked to the three, kicks it out to Martin. Inside the kitten. Lays it in, nice ball work right there by the Tribe. They lead by five, 36 seconds left here in the first. They missed, Williams swatting flies. Martin over here to Crib. Crib pulls up with three, missed. They call a foul on Williams. Williams is getting a rebound. They call a foul on him. Substitutions for the Panthers. 19 seconds left here in the first. For three, he missed. King has it. Back to Martin, back to King, up court, at the buzzer. Indians 14, Clinch County 9, we'll be back. Second period coming up. Second Street in Buxton, Georgia. For all of your parts and accessories, it's CarQuest Buxton. Go Indians. For nearly 20 years, Georgia's electric membership cooperatives have made Friday night football electrifying. As the official energy provider of the GHSA, Georgia's EMCs are proud to support high school athletics in the communities we serve. Standing behind every hike, every completed pass, and every team celebration. Because we know that today's high school athletes are tomorrow's local leaders. Georgia's EMCs. Well, welcome back, y'all. Second period about to get underway. Panther ball, Indians up by five. Panthers working inside. There's a steal, Hamilton has it. Three on four. Right, pulls up with a three, it's in. Foul call on King. Coach Bailey wanted the charge call, didn't get it. Williams is going to come in for King. Seven thirty-eight remaining here in the second. They're working it inside. Williams with a swat. Up the floor to Hamilton. Hamilton's got the layup. It's in. Panthers working it inside again. He's been in that paint for 10 seconds. No whistle yet. Travel call, though. 15 was in that paint for, I know, at least four or five seconds. Indians ball. Ahmad's back in the game to right. 
Right, cross court to Hamilton, the corner to Martin, back to Hamilton. Williams tips it in. Foul call before the points, he's gonna shoot two. 6.46 remaining here in the first half. Missed the first one. Makes the second one. 11 point ball game. Nice pass. Oh, Williams with another block. Williams just dominating under the backboard. Right to Martin, 6.22. Hamilton looked at the three, pulls up for two, missed, wins. <laughs> Foul on the Panthers. Indians ball underneath. In the corner to Hamilton, over there to Martin. Got a mod up here at the top. Mod's gonna pull up for the three. Get in there. It's in. Loose ball. Williams just swatting it all over the place, man. Coach Bailey hollering at him, slow down and reset. Williams outside. Over there to Maud. They say he stepped out on that far side over there. Panthers drive to the basket. He's going to lay that one in. 5-10 remaining here in the first half. Martin kicks it out to Hamilton. Hamilton drives across here to Cribb. Cribb back to right. Cribb tried to hit the brakes. He's shuffled his feet a little bit, traveled. 4.57. In the corner for three, missed. Panthers have it. And a little extracurricular activity going on over here to my left. Panthers trying to work it inside. Williams with the rebound. Hamilton pulls up, shoots, it's in. Points, no points. Foul before the shot.
Williams lays it in for two. Missed for three. Williams with a rebound. 4-14. I'm not sure where Martin was going with that pass. Panthers on the inbound. Pull up for two. Missed that one. Miss. Wright gets out of it. Almost had the rebound. Loose ball. Panthers have it. Gonna drive to the basket. Williams tried to kick it out. Panthers intercept it. Foul called on Martin. 3.42 remaining here in the second period. Panthers lay it in. Foul called, points count, he'll shoot one. Well, hold on, Panthers didn't put the points up. They may not have counted. Okay, they just put them up, they counted. He missed the foul shot. Loose ball. He traveled, but no whistle. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Coach Bailey wants a timeout. You can see Coach Bailey talking to him. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Allen Aldridge Insurance, located in Kingsland, Georgia, is proud to serve the communities of Charlton and Candom Counties, offering life, home, car, and business insurance. See Andy Gowan today for your insurance needs. Phone 912-729-7600 for more information. Protecting you is what we do. Gowan, welcome back. Indians ball down there. 10-point ball game. Coming up on the three minute mark. Martin looking at a three. Missed. Panthers have it. No points to travel. Right to Hamilton, inside to Williams. Williams turns, shoots, he's fouled. Williams go to the line, shoot two. Next first one. Makes them both. And he's back up front by 12. Air ball misses. Panthers with the rebound. Another three goes up. They missed that one. 
Cribb comes flying through there for the rebound. Martin has it, 218 counting. Loose ball, I think that's out on the Panthers. Indians ball. Williams comes in for a mod. 212 remaining here in the first half. I said Wright stuck his knee out. 14 for the Panthers. Martin to Hamilton, inside to Williams. Back out to Martin. Martin gonna pull up with the three. Missed. Williams with the rebound, contact, no whistle. Hamilton, Martin. Martin pulls up for a three again. Missed that one. 126. Martin knocks it out. Pay at the ball. 123. In the corner for three, he sinks out. Coming up on the one minute mark. Timeout, foul called away from the ball. On number two. And it's a tech too. Wright's gonna go to the line. A tech call to number two for the Panthers. Right hits it. He hits them both. Nine point ball game. Indians ball on that far side. Got a little discussion. Okay, so this, the official over here by the school board saying it should have been a one-on-one -on -one after the technical, but the official on the far side said no. It's Indians ball on the far side after the technical. This official over here closest to me at the bottom of your screen, he was saying it should have been a one-on-one -on -one after the tech. because it counted as a foul, but anyway, Indians have the ball. Coming up on the one minute mark. Right, gonna drive to the basket, pulls up, he traveled.
Pull up, shoot, it's in. Seven point ball game, 44 seconds left in the first half. Martin in the corner. Back to Crib, to Mud, to Wright. Wright pulls up for the three, missed. 25 seconds. Shot clocks are turned off. Eighteen seconds. Ten seconds. Cross court, Martin. Two seconds. That's going to do it for the first half. Indians 29. Panthers 22. We'll be back in 10 minutes for the second half. I'm gonna try to round up some scores from around the region. I'll break to our commercial. I'll break into our commercials when I get you some scores. But we'll be back in just a moment. You're watching Indians basketball on CSN. Aldridge Insurance is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. Four Seasons Floral, located at 4415 2nd Street North in Folkestone, Georgia, has all of your floral needs covered from Valentine's to birthdays and weddings to life celebrations, proms, special occasions, or just to say you love that someone special. We deliver as well. Call 912-496-7043 and we'll assist you with any floral need at Four Seasons Floral. Hey everyone, this is Kid Dean, sales manager at Walker Jones Honda. Today we're looking at the 22 Passport, just inviting all of y'all out to come check out our inventory. Man, a Walker Jones. Right now at Walker Jones Honda, new 22s are in stock and ready to roll. Like this new 22 Honda Passport Trail Sport all-wheel drive in stunning sonic gray pearl. Her 3.5 liter engine has power to spare and still gets 24 MPG on the highway. Come on down to Walker Jones Honda, home of the lifetime warranty. Lifetime Honda. The power of dreams. Walker Jones Honda. Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjoneshonda.com. When is the last time you updated your family photos? Don't wait weeks to see your photos. Book now with Fab Photo in Studio and see your full proof gallery within 72 hours. Jessica is a natural and studio light photographer ready to capture any event you have. Jessica is also known for her creative nighttime photos as well as her one-of-a-kind custom athletic photos. Contact Jessica today because you and your athlete deserve the best. 276-0925. We got the papers and the trash. Or you don't get no spending cash. If you don't scrub that kitchen floor, you ain't gonna rock and roll no more. Don't talk back. Just finish cleaning up the room. Let's see that dust fly with that broom. Get all that garbage out of sight. Or you don't go out Friday night. Don't talk back. Atlas Family Chiropractic, located at 4011 Georgia 40, St. Mary's, Georgia, has been serving patients in Camden and its surrounding areas since 2011. We strive to provide the highest clinical expertise in a warm and caring environment, offering gentle cervical chiropractic, medical massage, holistic nutrition, and bioenergetic functional wellness through meridian stress analysis and bioresonance scanning services. Give us a call and schedule. All right, welcome back to Homerville, y'all. We're seven minutes away from the start of the second half. Indians lead 29 to 22. A little swamp war action over here in Clinch County tonight. And man, I tell you what, it is the atmosphere for a swamp war, too. We had a little 
fireworks down here below me to the left earlier. They got that they got that contained and cleared out pretty quick. A little uh, disagreement and drama down there, but uh, they got that taken care of. That was earlier tonight. All right, the Indians are seven to zero in the region, in fifteen and one overall. The Panthers are chasing us at five and one. So uh, this game tonight, and the Indians only have Echo and Eccles left as far as region games go. Now the Indians have Brantley County tomorrow night. That's senior night. CSN will have it covered, but we're going to be on our Facebook page covering that tomorrow night. So y'all please make a note of that. We're streaming senior night tomorrow on our Facebook page at Charlton Sportsnet. I'll be down in South Florida, and I'm going to have the Titans and Dolphins live on our CSN YouTube channel tomorrow night from Pompano Beach at six at 6.30. So a whole lot going on this weekend. We, uh, we hope you'll join us and uh, watch both tomorrow night. Just split screen everything. <laughs> we, we do appreciate your support. No updates from around the region. I checked Max Preps and uh, shot a couple of messages out, but I haven't gotten any response back yet. I know it's a busy night for everybody, a lot happening in the basketball world. So, uh, but if I get anything, I'll certainly pass it along. JV Maidens defeated Clinch earlier today. JV Boys lost. Varsity Maidens lost. But in a tight one, they played tight the whole way. But they lost going toward the end of that one. And the, your varsity Indians are leading 29 to 22 here at the halfway point. Baseball Indians won last night. You saw that live on CSN. They defeated the 2A state champions. Yeah, it was a scrimmage, but everybody was looking at everybody. And uh, I'll tell you what, you could tell both squads had participated in state championships last season in 2A and 1A because they both look sharp from the starters all the way through the lineup. Both teams look really well. Not a whole lot of errors on the field. Pitching was solid top to bottom for both squads. The Indians just pulled it out to win that one two to one last night at Indian Field. And boy, did this Indian Field look fantastic. Man, that place looks good. I'm telling you, it's the best looking baseball field in Class A, probably in the state and uh, overall, but it is a nice, nice baseball field. And that speaks volumes to the support that the Indians baseball gets. If you get a chance, go up there and check it out. Big game up here tonight, full house. All kind of things going on. Obviously, Swamp War, Bragging Rights, Bragging Rights seeding in the region tournament. Playing for home field, playing for home field advantage, home court advantage for the region tournament. Indians win tonight, they should seal it up. All right, your tribe is back on the floor. I want to thank Clinch County for their hospitality, too. They greeted me out the door. They, they said, oh, we watch you guys in Creek Box all the time. Go on, get in there, get set up. Man, I love to hear that. <laughs> I want to thank the athletic director and everybody over at Clinch County here for their hospitality. I think they, they realize, obviously, a packed house like this, you realize streaming does not affect attendance. This place is packed, and I'm sure they turn people away at the door. And we've got three media outlets in here tonight. Me, Creek Box, and Radio in here. And uh, this place is, is sold out. So it sure makes it nice, too, when you hear that at the door. You walk in, and I said, CSN. And, you know, I got my gear on and everything, you know, my hat, my jacket, my shirt. And uh, the lady said, go on in. We watch you all the time. You know? <laughs> we appreciate that. So that was nice to hear coming in, especially a rivalry game like this. We're two minutes away from tip-off. You see the Tribe warming up. Williams has just dominated the boards for the Tribe. Elias Williams having a huge night. 
I'm not, I don't have Sammy with me tonight, so I don't know where we are on the stats, but I know Jarvis Wright coming into tonight only needed 11 to hit 1,000 on the season. I don't think he's hit 11 yet. I know he's hit a couple, but I don't think he's hit 1,000 points yet. But if I get if we get a word on that, we'll certainly pass it along. But I imagine if he does hit 1,000 tonight, they'll be celebrating that tomorrow night as well, along with senior night. 1,000 points, and he's only a sophomore. The Panthers are back on the floor now. They, they stayed in the locker room for an extended period. They just come out to warm up. We're uh, 48 seconds away from the start of the second half. Officials are back out. We didn't have to wait on the officials this time. They stayed on the floor the whole time. All right, y'all tell everybody. I know y'all were talking back and forth on Facebook, messaging and all that. Let everybody know we're back on, getting set to start the second half. About 50 of y'all ran to the refrigerator. All right, Indians will start with first possession in second half. Here we go. Hamilton has it. Hamilton and Martin got the twin towers back there on defense. I mean, on offense underneath. And the kids are shaking the cameras again. Right for three, sinks it. That's how you take care of the whole crowd right there. He kicks it out. That was a nice pass to kick that out. Williams definitely was going to have a block if he tried to shoot. Williams got a hand on that, but they put it in. Martin has it. Over to Hamilton in the corner down there, right side of your screen. Back over here to King. King's going to drive, pulls up, shoots, missed. Out on the Indians, Panther ball. Nine point lead for the tribe. Williams, ball's going all over the place. Panthers have it. He looked at the three, pulls up, shoots for two, it's in. Six point ball game. Hamilton's going to drive to the basket, puts it in. That was contact, no whistle. Thought it might be a three-point play. In the corner. You're okay. You were okay right there. She's, she saw me look. She stepped back. She's not in the way. She's fine. Foul call, Panthers are gonna go to the line. He missed the first one.
And he made the second one. Seven point game. Indians lead. Hamilton. Norton to Hamilton. Cross court to Ahmad inside to Williams. Williams. Norton has it. Hamilton. Right, right for three. Missed. Pulls up for two, missed. Ahmad with the rebound. He's fouled. Hamilton cross court to Ahmad in the corner to Martin. Back to Ahmad. Down there to Hamilton. Hamilton for the three. Missed. Back of the rim. Four three. Missed. Ahmad has it. Over to Martin. Coach Bailey barking instructions to the drive. It's out on the Panthers. Indians ball on that far side. 449 remaining in the third. Ahmad to Hamilton. Back to Ahmad. Foul called. Hamilton will inbound. Over here to Martin on the backcourt. Back to Ahmad. Back to Hamilton. Back to Ahmad, to Martin. Martin's going to drive to the basket, and we get a foul called. Panther ball. Williams continues to swap flies. Williams with the rebound. Up court to Hamilton. Hamilton's going to go to the basket, pulls up, shoots. Panthers trying to work it inside. Over there in the corner for three. It's out. Four point ball game. Hamilton, backside a little too high, even for 6 11. Tried to get it to Williams on the backside, just a little high. 350 left in the third. Indians need to get this offense back on track. Clint starting to climb back in it. There's another three. It's in. One point ball game. Coach Bailey wants a timeout. We'll be right back. Indians 34, Panthers 31. Visit today at 912-882-3323. Go Indians. Family owned Valancourt Construction established in 1945. Valancourt is constantly seeking out new markets and opportunities as well as state-of-the-art construction technology. We consider this vital in order to provide value for our customers, career opportunities for our employees, and a bright future for our Welcome back. Indians ball. Charlton Faithful getting fired up at the other end of the bleachers here. Defense, 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 defense,
crib in the game now for the Tribe. Back to Hamilton. Tried to get it inside to Williams. Pass was a little low that time. Williams with the rebound. It's, it's Panther ball. Travel call. Three eleven left here in the third. Crib. Right. Pulls up a three missed. Pulls up for two, it's in. Prince takes the first lead of the night for the Panthers. Cross court, crib, back to right. Right pulls up for two inside the arc. Panthers with the rebound. Pulls up for three, bank shot, misses. Out on Williams, Panther ball. 2.14 left in the third. Pulls up for two, missed. They work it inside. They hit the two. Indians trail by three. Hamilton to Martin. Foul away from the ball. Williams has it. Over here to Martin. Cribb's gonna look at that three, missed. Four, three, missed that one. Hamilton has it. In the corner to right, right for three, missed. Hamilton has it, and it's, he's fouled. He'll shoot two. Coach Bailey calls the guys over. He makes the first one. That's first points for the Indians in a while. Gonna get that offense cranked back up. Two point ball game. Missed the second one. Williams puts it back up, missed. In traffic, it's blocked. Williams has it. Martin to Hamilton. Ahmad inside to Williams. Foul call. Indian ball under the basket. 35 seconds left here in the third. Williams. Foul called on Williams. Called a charge on Williams. King's gonna come in for Williams.
Panthers on the inbound. Pulls up, shoots for two, misses. Hamilton knocks it away, almost stepped out. Four point ball game, Panthers lead. 10 seconds left in the third. Seven seconds. Four seconds. Mod for three, missed. We're headed to the fourth, it's a four point ball game. Panthers 39. Indians 35, we'll be right back. Ballon Court is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. Since 2009, Southeastern Automotive Group has been buying for and selling to most of the franchise dealerships in the area. What if you were able to bypass the big dealerships with the big markups? Buy direct from the supplier. Save thousands of dollars on your next vehicle purchase. Have a trade-in? No problem. With the used vehicles in such high demand, Southeastern Automotive Group has dealers ready to buy your trade. If Southeastern Automotive Group doesn't have the perfect vehicle for you, using their vehicle locator program, they will have it shipped in without any hassle or haggling you hate. With over hundreds of thousands of cars available at auctions across the nation, your next vehicle purchase is just a click away. Welcome back. back internet popping in and out I guess there's so many people in here internet's been perfect all night but okay it's coming back now y'all stick with us Hamilton just starting the fourth Martin to the basket tried to lay it in saves it for three, that's in, that's Hamilton. Man, the tribe needed that. It's in for two. Hamilton pulls up for another three, missed. Missed the layup. King had it for a second. Panther ball. Loose ball. Martin has it. Indians ball. Right for three, missed. King with the steal. 549 remaining. Hamilton to King. King looking at three, decided not to do it. Back to King. Hamilton. Get his right king in the corner to Martin. Martin's going to pull up, shoot. He has a partial block. They lay it in. 
Five point ball game, 515 left. Martin outside to Ahmad over to Hamilton in the corner. Hamilton's gonna drive the basket, pull up, shoots, it's in. Indians ball. Sorry, y'all. This... There we go. Indians have it, 454 remaining. Over to King. Inside to Williams, back out to King. King for three, it's in! King with a huge three right there for the Tribe. We're tied. Tied at 43 with 436 remaining in the ball game. Coach Baylor got a warning from the official. In the corner, 4-3, missed. Williams had to rebound for a second. Panthers get it. 4-16. King. Inside to Williams. Got to get that pass up. Three fifty six. Clear lane, he shoots, misses. Four point ball game again. Three thirty nine and counting. King in the corner. Pulls up for the three, missed. Three twenty left. Four three missed. Three oh eight. King looking at that three, decided not to do it. Martin has it. Back to King. Back to Martin. Hamilton for three. It's in. Panthers want a timeout. We'll stay here through this timeout. We're not going anywhere. 2.48 remaining in the ball game. It's a. I had that as a three. That was a three. All right, they fixed it. Coaching staff got <laughs> Coach Pender was on top of that. He was on top of that. They only gave his credit for two on the scoreboard. That was most definitely a three. So they fixed it. Y'all saw it live right there. We had the camera on the scoreboard. We are where we are, folks. <laughs> you got to love the Swamp War. You got to love it. All right, here we go. Panthers with the ball. Two forty eight remaining. Four three. He missed that one. Williams knocks it out. Ball there. Williams with the block. King with the rebound. Two twenty-five remaining. Hamilton to King. Back to Hamilton. 
Back over here to King in the corner to Martin. Martin's gonna go to the basket, pulls up, shoots, it's in. One point ball game, 201 remaining. He missed. Williams with the rebound. Martin has it, 153 remaining. Over here to Williams. Cross court to Hamilton. Hamilton's gonna drive to the basket in the corner to King. King for three. Missed. 136 remaining. And drive to the basket, misses the layup. Williams has it. 122 in county. Inside to Williams, pass is stolen. One minute left. Reverse layup is in. Three point ball game again, one minute left. For two missed, Williams has it. He's fouled. And they're gonna get him with a tech too. Possible three point play here for the Indians. 54 seconds left of the ball game. Missed the first one. Just a second. Indians ball underneath the basket. Well, that was huge. We missed both foul shots. A lot of pressure on Williams right there. Williams on the inbound. Martin inside to Williams. Slams it. One point ball game, 45 seconds left. It's a one possession game now for the Tribe. 34 seconds. Shot clock down to 20. He puts the ball down and he hits it. Three point ball game, 24 seconds left. Panthers call a timeout. We're gonna stay here, we're not leaving. We'll stay right here. 24 seconds left. I know Jarvis is our big time three point shooter, but I tell you what, Hamilton and Keenan have been the ones sinking them tonight. I'd try to get it to one of them. Although Jarvis can do it, we all know that. Any one of those three could sink it. Twenty-four seconds left. Panthers are going to press. Here we go. Clock's running. Martin will bring it up the floor. Martin to the basket. We missed the shot. Foul call. Let's get it. A 
11 seconds left. Panthers on the inbound. Here we go. Panthers have it. Foul call. We're nowhere near a one on one. See that one foul on one side, two on the other. Eight seconds. Foul called again. We're not in a one-on-one -on -one yet. Eight point three seconds. That was five, that was five. Panthers call a timeout. Out at four tenths of a second, run off the clock. It was 8.3, they never inbounded. Four tenths of a second, ran off that clock. Panthers are going to attempt an inbound again. 7.9 seconds left. They did. Okay, now they're putting the 8.3 back up. 8.3 is back on the clock. Another foul. Seven point five seconds left. Foul call, 5.5 seconds left. One on one on one now. Panthers in the line, they're up by three. What a game, typical small boy. He makes it. 5.5 seconds left. That might have sealed it right there. We got Jarvis set up in the corner. Panthers have him manned up. Well, they've got him double teamed. He makes them both. Five point five seconds left. And the tribe called a timeout.
that third period hurt us tonight. We, the Indians offense just kind of went cold in that third period. And I think that hurt us, that hurt us tonight. And always say what you want over here about calls, non-calls, that kind of thing. But that third period hurt. Four seconds. He threw it up for a three. I think that's going to do it. Ball game. Panthers are going to win this one. 55 to 50 over our Indians. I want to thank y'all for watching this presentation of Indians basketball on the Child and Sports Network. What a game. Indians are going to drop the 7 to 1. Panthers will be 6 and 1 in the region. Before y'all go away, let me check real quick before y'all go away. Let me see um, who the Panthers have left on their schedule because I'm very confident the Indians are going to win out with Eccles, Eccles and Echo. Love you too, baby. I'll be home in a little while. Y'all hold on just a second. Stay with me for just a second. Y'all, I'm going to find out. I'm trying to find the Panthers schedule, see who they have left real quick. Panthers have, yeah, Panthers have a little tougher road than we do. Panthers have to go to Turner next week on the 7th. So uh, that's a little bit tougher game for the Panthers. And then they close out the season on the road at Lanier County. So uh, our road is a little easier than their road. Eccles girls won tonight, so they did us, they did the maidens a favor. Eccles girls won 36 to 20, 36 to 32. Turner boys beat Lanier 71 to 49. Eccles boys beat Adco 49. No, I'm sorry, Adco beat Eccles boys 49 to 24. Thank you, Keith, for that. All right, y'all. Have a great weekend, everybody. Sammy will have y'all for senior night tomorrow night on our Facebook page at Charlton Sports Net. Tammy and I will have the Titans in Miami tomorrow night on our YouTube channel. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you for watching.